From the mid 1970s to 2009, out of Africa theory reigned supreme in the evolutionary sciences. The scientists involved in the original out of Africa study gained worldwide acclaim. The media was seduced by the narrative one female, a mother to our entire human race. ASU Encyclopedia, in the journal Nature, an article coined the term mitochondrial Eve, referring to the Judeo-Christian biblical first woman Eve. This resulted in an iconic and highly controversial cover of Newsweek. But there was a more serious side. The overwhelming majority of evolutionary scientists based their entire phylogenetic models on out of Africa. A quick note for reference, recent out of Africa is abbreviated ROOA. Out of Africa is often referred to as recent African origins or RAO. It's just a matter of style and both are correct. Out of Africa hypothesizes migration of Homo sapiens out of Africa 40,000 to 60,000 years ago. This includes total replacement of Eurasian hominids, no admixture. Mitochondrial DNA in Human Evolution, the paper was released in 1987. Their conclusion, if there was hybridization between the resonant archaic forms in Asia and anatomically archaic forms emerging from Africa, we should expect to find extremely divergent types of MT DNA in present day Asians. Continuing, there is no evidence for this type of mtDNA study. Thus, we propose that Homo erectus in Asia was replaced without mixing with the invading Homo sapiens from Africa. From ASU, one view of the fossil record is that the transition from archaic to modern Homo sapiens occurred first in Africa about 100,000 years ago. Khan and her colleagues stated that their studies of mtDNA agree with this interpretation of the fossil record. From Nature, Out of Africa asserts migration out of Africa in which anatomically modern humans of African origin conquered the world by completely replacing archaic human populations. Competing Multi-Regional Theory the multi-regional model posits migration of Homo erectus out of Africa one to two million years ago. Note, Franz Weidenreich, best known for his work with Homo erectus and Gigantopithecus, founded the multi-regional school, though early on it was referred to as racial typology. Multi-regional states that anatomically modern humans evolved separately in various geographical regions with some admixture occurring between populations. From ASU, because the genus Homo was in Asia and Africa one million years ago, the transformation from archaic to modern Homo sapiens occurred in parallel in Africa, Asia, and other areas. From Nature, multi-regional states that there was independent multiple origins or shared multi-regional evolution with continuous gene flow between populations. Key point, mtDNA is much easier to retrieve, but it is also less reliable than chromosomal DNA found in the nucleus. From ASU, mitochondria DNA is a small circular genome found in those parts of cells called mitochondria. Mitochondria are organelles found outside of the nucleus. Two thousand ten, the year out of Africa theory died. In two thousand twenty one, Svante Pabo of the Max Planck Institute in Germany was awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering Neanderthal DNA in the human genome. Pabo himself had been skeptical that they would ever manage to isolate the Neanderthal genes in modern human samples. It was 2009. Pabo had been attending a conference in the United States. 
As Pabo often recounts in lectures and writings, he had just tucked himself in for the night. He was sipping on some warm milk and tea, and his cell phone rang. It was his chief lab assistant, Johannes Krauss, calling from Germany. Krauss informed his boss they had successfully isolated Neanderthal genes in the sequences of European and Asian samples. The resulting paper, published in May of 2010, included co-authors who were giants in the field of human genetics, Pabo, Krauss, David Reich, Matthias Meyer, and Janet Kelso. Study. We present a draft sequence of the Neanderthal genome composed of more than 4 billion nucleotides. Comparisons of Neanderthal genome to the genomes of five present-day humans from around the world affected by positive selection in ancestral modern humans. Continuing, we show that Neanderthals shared more genetic variants with present-day humans in Eurasia than with present-day humans in Sub-Saharan Africa. This gene flow into the ancestors of non-Africans occurred before the divergence of Eurasian groups from each other. Pabo et al. Quote, Neanderthals shared more genetic variants with present-day humans in Eurasia than with present-day humans in Sub-Saharan Africa." End quote. Pabo's team had identified 2 to 4 percent Neanderthal DNA admixture in the Eurasian genome. And a year later, Krauss discovered Denisovan DNA from a single pinky bone. The specimen had been found in a cave in the Altai region of Russia in 2008. The dissident anthropologists were proven right. They had been shouting in the wilderness for decades that the fossil evidence showed modern humans were admixed with Neanderthals and other hominid species. Paleoanthropology Hall of Fame. The most outspoken and vociferous polygenesis included Raymond Dart, Milford Wolpoff, Carlton Kuhn, Alan Thorne, Shinshi Wool, and Franz Weidenreich. Arizona State University genetics professor Michael Hammer also got it right from his paper 2006. Did Neanderthals go extinct without interbreeding with modern humans 25 to 40,000 years ago, or are their genes present among modern-day Europeans? He continued, recent work suggests that Neanderthals and as yet unidentified archaic African population contributed to at least 5% of the modern European and West African gene pools, respectively. Hammer was suggesting around 5% archaic DNA in the Eurasian genome four years prior to Pabo and his team in Leipzig confirmed the Neanderthal DNA. Even more shockingly, one anthropologist had asserted Neanderthal homo sapien hybridization based on morphology of a specimen way back in 2003. XChristian.net 2007, anthropologist Eric Trinkos of Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri has found fossil evidence suggesting that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals did interbreed. Continuing, certain genetic and anatomical traits cannot be explained as a simple and complete expansion of modern humans out of Africa, he said. In 2015, DNA was extracted from Pestra Huase specimens. Oase Uno was found to have an astonishing 9.5% Neanderthal DNA. Oase Uno 2003, this mandibular foramen bridging a derived Neanderthal feature. This presents a mosaic of archaic early modern human and possibly Neanderthal, emphasizing both the complex population dynamics of modern human dispersal into Europe. Trinkas is credited on his Wikipedia page. He was one of the first to argue for an African origin of modern humans, but with substantial Neanderthal ancestry among 
modern Eurasian human populations. Who got it wrong? Chris Stringer was one of the leading advocates for Out of Africa for decades, but to his credit, he was also one of the very first to back away from Out of Africa soon after the Pabo paper was released in 2010. Stringer, I'm looking again at the whole question of recent African origin for modern humans, the leading idea over the last 20 years that we had a recent African origin out of Africa and that we replaced all of the other human forms that were outside of Africa. Continuing, we're having to reevaluate that now because genetic data suggests that the modern humans who came out of Africa about 60,000 years ago probably interbred with Neanderthals and the Denisovans over in Southeastern Asia. Stringer often recounts in lectures how he and Wolpoff became friends again over rounds of beers at a 2015 conference in Gibraltar. The conference was sponsored by their mutual friend Clive Finlayson. Stringer recounts that Wolpoff gave him a big bear hug and exclaimed, I was right! Stringer agreed and bought rounds of beers for the conference attendees. Who got it horribly wrong? Richard Leakey, quote, Neanderthals going back 65,000, 70,000 years ago. Now a few years ago, they were successful in recovering some DNA material and that established beyond any doubt. There are no Neanderthal genes in us, end quote. Leakey Foundation Lecture 2008. Leakey was referring to a 1997 paper on mtDNA by Pable himself. They found no Neanderthal in the mtDNA. Discover 2020, quote, we were assuming Neanderthals and humans had not mixed, end quote, Reich says. After all, that's what Pabo had initially found in 1997. For years after the 2010 Neanderthal DNA announcement, some anthropologists continued to cling to out of Africa. In her BBC Human Journey documentary released in 2013, Alice Roberts continually asserted, quote unquote, we are all Africans. But in later versions of her book accompanying the documentary, Alice Roberts did push back the date of African origins from 50,000 to 100,000 years ago. Other anthropologists just opted to downplay the importance of the archaic admixture. Professor Chris Hurst, University of Iowa, quote, Out of Africa, African replacement hypothesis is a well-supported theory at present, but Neanderthal Denisovan contribution to Homo sapien DNA is considered fairly minor, end quote. Alan Wilson died in 1991. Rebecca Kahn taught at the University of Hawaii and is now a professor emeritus. She remained enthusiastic, even boastful of Out of Africa up until 2010. She has commented little in the media on Out of Africa since then. Professor Trinkas died in 2022. He received very little acclaim for being the very first to suggest Neanderthal Homo sapien hybridization. Dr. Hammer switched over to medical research in 2015. Trikos, Hammer, Milford Wolpoff, and other multi-regionals had argued for four decades that Eurasians were hybridized with Neanderthals. Professor Wolpoff received some collegial congratulations over the years, but he was not nominated for the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Committee chose to award the prize to another scientist. Final note, recall Kahn and her colleagues absolutely ruled out Homo erectus mixing with Homo sapiens. What they never counted on was Johannes Krauss discovering Denisovan DNA in the Asian genome.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and please pass this video on to others. We'll see you soon.